welcome dear students in this video i am going to explain about equations of motion let us first see the equations the first one is v is equals to u plus at second s is equals to ut plus half at square and third v square is equals to u square plus 2a s where the symbols have their meaning let us see v represent the final velocity u initial velocity a constant acceleration t time taken uh, during which the body acquires the velocity from u to v or time in which the body travels a displacement s or distance s s is the distance traveled now we will derive these equations graphically so let us start the first equation that is v is equals to u plus at it is also called velocity time relation as velocity final velocity depends upon the time u and a are the constants now to derive this we will consider first let a body moving with uniform acceleration u is the initial velocity of the body after time t the body acquires a velocity v and travels a distance s so let us represent this by a velocity time graph for that we will take two axes one for velocity representing the velocity and another axis for time now as i said the body is having some initial velocity that's why we will not start from origin we will start from a point a let the body possesses initial velocity u means this distance or this value we will consider as u finally the body acquires a velocity v so we will represent this value as v so this total value is the final velocity v and let us drop two perpendiculars first from this side as i said the body acquires velocity v in time t so this total timing we will take as t let us join this name it as a b c d and this is e so let us start the derivation the first derivation as we know the acceleration so for finding the acceleration we will consider here angle theta now as we know the slope of velocity time graph gives the acceleration so we can write acceleration acceleration a is equals to slope of vt graph velocity time graph as we know slope is equals to tan theta or tan theta is equals to perpendicular by base or look at the figure in this triangle perpendicular is bc and base is ab so we can write a is equals to bc this value as we know bc means this value we have to calculate total value is v and this value is u so v minus u we will get bc so v minus u by ab is equals to oe so we can write it as t 
If we will cross multiply, a t is equals to b minus u, or we can write b is equals to u plus a t, taking u this side. So this is the first equation of motion. Now let us derive the second equation using the same graph. For this, we will calculate the displacement. As we know, the area enclosed by second equation as it is s is equals to u t plus half a t square. We have to derive this. As we know, the area enclosed by velocity, time, sketch, and the time axis gives the displacement. So we will find the displacement. So as we know, displacement or distance s is equals to area under v t uh, graph. So area of area of trapezium. Look at this the trapezium O E C A. This trapezium. Now this trapezium we can divide into two parts, one triangle and one rectangle. So we can write area of rectangle A O E B plus plus area of triangle area of triangle A B C. So area of rectangle length into breadth. So we can write O E into O A length into breadth plus area of triangle 1 by 2 base into height. So 1 by 2 base we can take as A B and height we can take as B C. Now let us see O E is T O A is U plus 1 by 2 A B that is T into B C again we have to find B C so B C is B minus U as we know B is equals to U plus A T so taking bringing this U this side so we will get B minus U is equals to A T so we can write it as this side displacement as so we can write it as S is equals to U T plus 1 by 2 into T into B minus U we can write A T. So we will get S is equals to U T plus half A T square. So this is the second equation. Now we will derive the third equation. This equation is also known as displacement time relationship. As the displacement depends upon time, u initial velocity which is constant and I said the body is moving with uniform or constant acceleration. So a is also a constant. So this is the second derivation. Let us de derive the third uh, equation. That is Third again we will derive by same method. Third is S sorry V square is equals to U square plus 2 sorry B square is equals to U square plus 2 A S. For this again we will write as distance is S is equals to area of trapezium area of trapezium A O E C A O E C this trapezium we know that the displacement is equals to area enclosed by the velocity time sketch and the time axis so this area again we have to find this time we will use the formula for trapezium the area of trapezium is 1 by 2 into sum of parallel sides. So sum of parallel sides we can write that is uh, EC plus OA EC plus OA 
into height. So height we can take as OE. So we can write 1 by 2, this side is S and uh, 1 by 2 EC, we can see EC is V plus OA, we can write U into OE T. As we can see in this time is not there, so we will remove this. We know that V is equals to U plus AT, so we will write it as V minus U is equals to AT or we can write V minus U by A is equals to T. So we will substitute the value of T in this equation. So we will get S is equals to 1 by 2 V plus U into at the value of T we will write V minus U by A or we can write S is equals to V plus U and V minus U. So using the formula A plus B, A minus B, A square minus B square. So here will be V square minus U square by 2A. Again cross multiplying we will get 2AS is equals to V square minus U square or we can write V square is equals to U square plus 2AS. So this is the third equation. These are the three equations which we use in solving the numericals. Uh, so we have derived this by using graphic graphs. So these are called the graphical methods. So I think you all can understand this. Thank you students. Thank you for watching.